Firstly, we are going to connect our ESP8266. Get a USB cable and connect your Node MCU ESP8266 to your laptop or your PC. Now we're going to go to our device manager to confirm that our PC or laptop has recognized the ESP8266. Right click on your Windows icon and open your device manager. After opening the device manager, click on the ports which will show you which comp you are going to be using. Now that we know that ESP8266 has been recognized by, by our PC or laptops, we can move on to uploading the code. Before we can upload the code, we have to make sure that we have Arduino IDE installed on our PC or laptop. The first thing that you will do is search Arduino IDE. And the first thing that will pop up is this. You will see downloads and it will show you the latest version of the Arduino, which is Arduino 2.0.4. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. It will ask you if you want to donate. If you would like to donate, you are free to. And if you just want to download, you can press on just download. When it is done downloading, click on the file. It will then show you its license agreement. You can read through it if you'd like to and then click I agree. Next, it will ask you who should this application be installed for. You can select what suits you. You can choose what file you want it saved in. And now just wait for the installation to finish, which will take some time. Copy the URL in the description below for the Arduino ESP8266 package. Go to Files, Open Preferences. You can change the theme of the Arduino background, the Arduino to what suits you best. Now go to Additional Boards Manager URLs and then paste the link that you copied and then you can close it now open the board manager and then search ESP8266 and install that mine is already installed so I'm not gonna reinstall it after downloading the boards for the ESP8266 you can close the board manager and save the file I'm going to save mine as project 01 ESP8266 Now that you save the file, you're ready for the code.
and we are done with the code we're going to select our board by going to tools and down to board select esp8266 then it will give you options scroll down to node mcu 1.0 and yeah, select it and now we're going to choose the comp go to tools again and from the info from the device manager you will be able to choose your comp port my comp port is comp 7 so i will select that one Click on the upload button and you will see that it will start by compiling the sketch. Then it will start uploading it. And while it's uploading, you will see that the built-in LED on the Node MCU ESP8266 will start blinking. When it is done uploading, it will start blinking slower at the rate of one second and so will the external LED. Get a mini USB cable and connect the Arduino Nano to your PC or laptop. After connecting your Arduino Nano to your PC or your laptop, open up your device manager. Right click on your Windows icon and open the device manager and then you will see which port pump you are using. We'll open up a new sketch. Rename the sketch. I'm gonna rename mine Project O2 Arduino Nano. And now we're going to type in the same code, but we're just going to change the D4 to 2. When we're done with our code, we're going to select our board. So we're going to go to tools, go to board and go to Arduino, AVR boards. And then you're going to choose Arduino Nano. You're going to go back to your tools and you're going to go to port. You're going to choose the port that showed in your device manager. You can now go ahead and upload your code to the Arduino Nano. But mine always crashes and gives me an error. But the way to resolve that is I put my processor on the old booter which works for me so it depends on your board 
or your chip. After uploading your code, your external LED will start flashing. If you want to go ahead and test out the rate of the blinking LED, you can go and change the delay time to 500, which is half a second, and then upload the code. After uploading the code, you will notice that your LED blinks at a faster rate than it did before.